What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel and if you are new here, my name is Lucy and I'm talking about the Dalai Lama in this video. Hey guys, Ringo, say hi. So today's video, I saw the Dalai Lama and I watched him speak in San Diego at UCSD and it was a pretty beautiful, wonderful experience. I'll probably never see him again in this lifetime. He's our 13th <laughs> Dalai Lama. Sorry. <laughs> Possibly the last just because of all the crazy things that are going on, but hopefully not because the world needs a lot more world peace and joyous people like him. I'm not, personally, I'm not giving up Jesus and I'm not giving up God in my life. Um, I plan on keeping those, but I plan on practicing Buddhism a little more and or learning it and understanding it. And I feel like it just makes more sense for me to go towards Buddhism and it just makes more sense for me to just feel more at ease and feel more calm and understanding and going was pretty freaking great because I didn't think I was gonna go but then for some reason God wanted me to go just because he maybe he possibly knows this is gonna be something good for me so I went with my boss and a couple of her friends and it was a fun experience and here's some of the clips of what I saw and then later on I'll talk about pretty much what I learned and my perspective on the whole speech and the experience. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Um, if you're new here, um, I do tattoos and I also do vlogs on this channel and planner videos and makeup. And right now it is 4.20 and I'm heading out. We are going to San Diego today to see the Dalai Lama. I'm so excited. I don't have any eyelashes on. I lost them. I tend to do that. And I'm gonna go meet um, my other boss. And I wasn't expected to see the Dalai Lama ever in my life, but my other boss messaged me and he was like, hey, we have an extra ticket. And I was like, oh, invite. Ooh, 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 ooh. So right now, I'm gonna dip super early. Say hi, me. Ringo's sad. Why are you sad, Ringo? Why are you sad? Alright, I'm gonna head out now. Witnessed, uh, it is always helpful uh, in a time of uncertainty to meet a wise and compassionate human being. It can be comforting in a time of anger to hear a man who says his religion is kindness. And there is something that can ease deep within us in a time of worry when we are offered a glimpse of a better world. The 14th Dalai Lama, revered by the Tibetan people as the reincarnation of the Enlightened One, or Bodhisattva of Compassion, calls himself a simple monk, a human being, just like the rest of us. Like us, he has faced the sufferings of being a human being. In his case, separated from his mother as a small child, struggling to protect his people from violence as a teenager, losing his freedom, then his home and his country, surviving a harrowing 14-day escape into exile at the age of 23, becoming a refugee, losing parents and siblings, and for decades now, enduring the suffering of the Tibetan people while advocating tirelessly for their basic human rights. And yet, despite all of this, he has chosen to love. And that love has led him to embrace the entire world. He knows... Elder brothers and sisters, and the younger brothers, sisters. 
I always start to talk just call brothers, sisters. So, uh, firstly, I don't like formality. I think when we born, no formality. To conclusion, basic human nature is more compassionate. One sort of clear indication is constant fear, constant anger, actually possibility change. So that's the, the very meaning of tolerance, forgiveness is like this. Forgiveness does not mean you just forget what happened. No. If you really forget, there's no basis of tolerance. You keep what they've done, negative thing. But not, not let develop anger, hatred towards them. Or even today, analyze whether that sadness or that tragic situation or negative attitude. Even even animals, sometimes, to some extent, they also know. You see, some dogs, or say, if you feed them uh, without genuine love, they also, you see, quite clever, take the food and never show appreciation. If you show them genuine love, uh, It was a beautiful day, the sun was out, the sun was beaming. What I learned from the whole experience was that you can pretty much, you can pretty much feel the love that he has for everybody just sitting in the audience. And my experience just looking at him and being able to just be in the same area as him, it felt pretty nice and it felt pretty easy. And there was just so much love and joy coming from him. And he's actually really funny. He said a lot of things that were hilarious. He, this specific topic that he was talking about was diversity in different cultures and in the world and everything. And how we all need to pretty much be happy and to love one another. And when you look at somebody, you look at them like your brother or sister, you pretty much become more understanding. And it was pretty Pretty amazing and he was talking about how I have like three pages of notes um, that you're happier and our species is meant to socialize with others and to show joy and happiness with others be passionate and it gives your life a purpose and an understanding of who you are there was just a lot of things like respect people who have a different religion than you and respect people that don't necessarily believe in like a religion at all people who are atheists Try to make the people around you have just to be happy and to just be feel loved and My experiences with other religions Haven't been so joyful and I just feel like this is something that's really gonna give me a positive aspect in life It also like everything that he was talking about he was saying you don't have to react and you can just try to be as understanding, just be more loving and compassionate and, you know, be friends with your neighbors and, you know, and develop trust within people. And I think it's interesting that he wakes up every day at 3 a.m. to meditate. Um, like Buddhists are actually well-educated and they, they like to read books and stuff like that. It was really cool just to be near him and just to be, just to hear what he has to say about the world and everything. And he's just so great. And like when people, and he was like talking about when people like treat you badly, it's just a reflection of their emotional connection within themselves. So they have to figure it out. And even towards me, like, I just feel like this is going to be a good step in my life. And whatever, whatever happens with this happens with this. But it was a really fun experience. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe and follow any of my other social medias.